Okay, here's a video about <coughs> nth terms. Nth terms. Um, the nth term uh, in Reddit says um, it deals with or it concerns a, a, a making a formula or finding a formula that allows you to find any term in a sequence. So you put a terms in a sequence or the numbers in a sequence. So a sequence, a good example of a sequence would be 5, 10, 15, 20. Those numbers there are the terms in the sequence. So 5 would be the first term, and 10 would be the second term, and 15 would be the third term, and so on. Um, and this video will cover linear sequences um, where the difference is the same, just like the example I gave you, 5, 10, 15, and 20. The difference you need to, you need to pick there is 5, isn't it? So we're going to talk about how you can find the nth term, that's any term in a sequence, um, where that sequence has the same difference each time between each of the terms. Okay, let's uh, let's look at a few examples. Let's start with a nice easy one. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Okay, so the first term is three, the second term there, there's a third term, fourth term, there's a fifth term. And of course the sequence could go on um, uh, forever if you wanted it to. Um, and in this sequence, we can see that the term is always three times the size uh, of the, the term itself. So the first term is 3, the second term 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 3 is 15. So if I asked you what the hundredth term is going to be, you would in your head do 100 times 3 and you'd tell me the answer would be 300, wouldn't you? Because you can do 100 times 3 in your head. Um, so there we go. Um, there's, there's, there's a good example of a linear sequence and that's one where we wouldn't have any trouble finding any term in the sequence because we just times the term by 3 to find the sequence. But not all sequences run exactly like that, even linear ones. Um, here's another example of a linear sequence. Let's go 5, 11, uh, let's go 17, 23, 29. Here's another sequence. There's the first, second, third, fourth. Terms. I'm writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up there. It's not essential. Um, all you need really is the terms in the sequence, these numbers here. Um, now, let's create our formula that I mentioned earlier, the formula um, that will help us find the nth term. And we'll talk more about that in a moment. But let's find the formula first. Um, the first thing you do is you look at your sequence and you look at the difference between each number. Uh, between 5 and 11 is the difference of plus 6, isn't it? We're getting 6 bigger. And of course, it's a linear sequence, the difference is the same each time. In each case, from one term to the next, we're getting 6 bigger. Okay, um, I, sh I should say at this point, there's lots of different ways of finding the nth term. The way I'm going to show you works every time, and I find it very straightforward and very simple. There are other alternatives, and if you um, search for YouTube, you'll find other people explain it in slightly different terms, in slightly different ways. And, and that's fine, um, and they might just tell you more than this does. Uh, if so, good luck to you and to them. Um, but the, the way I'm going to explain is one way of doing it, and um, I think you'll find it fairly straightforward. In this in this sequence, the difference between terms is plus six. So we're getting six greater, we're getting six bigger each time. Um, I'm going to take that plus six, and that's going to form the first part of my formula, because the difference between the terms is going to be my multiple of n. Now, I'll talk more about what, what n means in a minute. Um, the second part of my formula that I'm creating down here is found by counting back from the first term to an imaginary start point. Uh, if, if you like, if you want to call it the, the zero term, you can, although that doesn't mean anything, does it? Um, how can we count back from five? Well, we'll count back. In theory, this term here would be six less than five, wouldn't it? So we're going to count back six from five. Um, so five minus six is minus one. So uh, that will be the second part. That minus one there will be the second part of my formula. I write the minus one there. And I've created a formula 6n minus 1. And in this formula, the letter n represents any term in the sequence. So for example, if I wanted to find the first term in the sequence, where the formula was 6n minus 1, then the first term, n, would stand for 1. Uh, and so I would do 6 times 1, which of course is 6, and then I would take away 1 to get 5, and that means the first term of the sequence would be 5, which of course it is. And uh, let's try it for the second term. If I want to find the second term of the sequence, I already know it should be 11. Let's see if this works. I would do 6 times, or well, the number of the term is 2, the second term. And 6 times 2 is 12. 12 minus 1 is 11. And lo and behold, there we go. If it's the third time I want to find, 6 times 3 is 18. 18 minus 1, 17. Can you see how this works? Uh, whichever term I want to my, find, I, I multiply it by 6 and take away 1, that will give me my answer. So let's say I want to find the 18th term 
of this sequence? Well, <coughs> that means then that n in our formula represents the number 18. So I'm going to have to do 6 times 18 and then times it by 1 to find my answer. So let's write 6 times 18 minus 1. 6 times 18, can you do that in your head? If you can't, write it down. I might do 6 times 10. 6 times 8, that's one way of doing it. There are others, of course. Add those together as 108. So don't forget to take away the 1. I reckon the 18th term of the sequence will be 107. Because I've used my formula. I've done 6 times the number of the term, which in this case is 18. Take the 18, I've got down to 108. And when I took away 1, I get 107. So the 18th term in this sequence will be 107. Let's do some couple more examples. I don't want to make this too long. Because if you understand that, then you've basically got it. Here's another sequence. 7, 11, 15, 19. What's the difference? Of course, that's right. Well done. We're getting four bigger each time. That's the first half of our, of our formula. That means our formula starts with 4n. Uh, and then we count back one from here. Count back. Uh, look how far back we're going to go. Well, we're getting four bigger. So to count back a term, we're going to go minus four. I mean, 7 minus 4 is 3. That's plus 84. That comes in here. So our formula using uh, the nth term is 4n plus 3. So um, the nth term will be 4n plus 3. How about if this one wants to find the 25th term? The 25th term would be, or we'll find 25. 4, 25, and then we'll add 3. And I'll also use this formula here that we've got down here. Okay, so 4 times 25, 4 times the number of the term, and 4 25 are 100, aren't they? And 100 plus 3 is 103. So the 25th term in this sequence would be 103. Let's do another one. Sometimes the sequences can go down, of course. Here's one. 21, 16, 11, um, and uh, 6. What's happening this time is we're getting 5 smaller, aren't we? Five smaller. So my sequence, my formula rather, this time we'll start with minus 5, we're getting smaller, minus 5n. And the second part will be found by counting back from the first term to here. And I'm going to get 5 bigger this time after. That will be 26. So it's plus 26 will be the second part of my formula. So you give me the complete formula of minus 5n plus 26. So to find any term, I will um, times that term by minus 5 and 26. Uh, we've got four terms here. Let's find the fifth term, shall we? I know it should be one, shouldn't I? But let's see if that works out. My fifth term should be minus five times five, my fifth term, and then add 26. Five, five, 25, so minus five, five, are minus 25, aren't they? So we've got minus 25 plus 26, which of course is plus one. We were right. How about the twelfth term? Let's find the twelfth term. Um, we'll do it in the blue. Things a little bit less working for us there. Let's work over here. So the 12th term will be minus 5 times 12. And then we'll count and add 26. Uh, 5, 12, 60, aren't they? So minus 5, 12 are minus 60. So minus 60 plus 26. Minus 60 plus 20 is minus 40, isn't it? Minus 40 plus 6 minus 34. So the 12th term of the sequence will be minus 34. I'm going to stop there because what I've done is I've shown you how you can find the nth term in any sequence. You simply count the difference between each term. It's a linear sequence, remember, a linear sequence where the difference is always the same. You count the difference, and that difference is your multiple of n. And then the second part is found by counting back from the first term to your imaginary starting point, your zeroth term, if you like. And that's the second part of your formula. You can then use that formula in the way that I've shown you in those three examples to find any term in a sequence. That in a nutshell is it. Feel free to send me some uh, questions if you're not sure. Thank you.